Thanksgiving look a whole lot different this year. Christmas will as well with social distance Santa's 11 Alive to her shows us how malls and Santa's are adjusting to keep you and your children safe. Even traditions like holiday Santa visits aren't spared in this year's pandemic. Families and Santa Claus are now getting creative on how to spread Christmas cheer. When we leave the North Pole, of course, we do have to worry about that. Santa Rick says this year is the first in five decades he's had to make these kinds of adjustments. This is an amazing event that's happening throughout the world. The deal is with Santa this year is basically it's a no touch year where no one can sit on Santa's knee and no one can hug Santa. And those changes are coming to Metro Atlanta malls too, where Santa's take pictures with families. At Lenox Square in Atlanta, families are encouraged to make reservations for a socially distanced experience. Santa and their helpers will wear masks and guests are required to wear masks where mandated by local health authorities and government agencies. Cumberland Mall in Cobb County requires reservations for a contactless visit. Masks for both guests and Santa's are required. On Cumberland Mall's Facebook page, it even encourages a virtual visit with Santa through Alpharetta-based company Jingle Ring. These safety measures, not surprising for Santa Rick. Santa, in a small event going from home to home, he'll see maybe half a dozen homes in a day, which could be 30 or 50 people. And if he's at a public event, he could see hundreds or even a thousand people. So we need to make sure Santa doesn't become a super spreader. By the way, Santa Rick also owns the Northern Lights Santa Academy. And he says COVID-19 forced them to cancel Santa school in the spring and fall of this year.